All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm gonna be making a video just talking about these new toys I got, new shoes. They're the new Addy Powers and uh, just how they felt and kind of my opinion on them and uh, whether you should get them and sizing and whatnot. All right, so without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, so within this video, I'm probably gonna talk a bit just to the camera and then I'm also gonna show just a couple uh, videos of my last leg day. Um, Okay, keep in mind, my last leg day, it's kind of hard to assess just because my last leg day really wasn't that great. I wasn't feeling that strong that day. I went out a lot that weekend. I hadn't eaten much. Staying up a little bit too late, just not being in a good routine, so I was really weak. But, um, yeah, I still felt a difference, so I'm going to talk about that. All right, so, the new Audi Powers. So, as you can see, pretty high-tech shoe. They've got a heel right here, but the heel is really firm, so there's no give at the bottom. Uh, I got the black ones. Uh, they're the only ones I had in my size and uh, they costed $260 for me. I paid express shipping. So it was a lot of money. Uh, I paid $260. Uh, a lot of people they get deals like there was one pair that was actually an older year and it was $130 but I didn't have my size so I had to get these bad boys. But yeah anyways, so pretty like high tech equipment. I got a strap right there, right? Uh, obviously laces. Most shoes have them. <laughs> and honestly, uh, as soon as I got to the gym, I was pretty excited to use these. Uh, I noticed that it was a lot, like, I don't, I never really had trouble getting depth, but it was almost like I wasn't even trying anymore. And uh, it was just really easy to get depth. It gives you a little bit of a heel there. And normally I was squatting in flat footed shoes. So that was something I noticed. Um, so as you can see uh, right there, definitely easy to get depth. Never really had a problem with that but that's something I noticed when I strapped them on. Uh, another good thing that I was really happy about, and which was probably one of the main reasons that I got these, was uh, I really wanted more of a stable base for when I was squatting. And uh, it took a little bit of getting used to, which is also why I didn't push it too much with the weight. But uh, I mean, you can see me doing, I'm gonna do a heavy single coming up. And uh, yeah, it took a little bit of getting used to that uh, when you get into place, you can't really move your feet as easy, which is an advantage if you have your feet in the right placements but uh, I definitely have to work on stepping back and um, putting my feet in the right place right away without kind of wiggling it around and stuff it's a lot harder to wiggle <clears throat> but that's also a pro because you after you get your feet into the right place they're not moving your feet are staying planted and all you have to worry about is the squat and keeping your form good and okay so another thing I noticed while I was squatting is uh, it definitely did almost force me to be in a bit more of an upright position. I don't know if that's just me, I don't know if that's true, but when I was doing low bar, uh, I was realizing I was a bit more upright than I'm used to, and so that was also something that I kept in mind while I was trying out these new shoes. All right, so something I wanted to talk about real quick. Actually, I'm not gonna lie, I got this from Omar Yisaf. He made a video on this, I think, like three or four years ago, but uh, I was doing some research, and what a lot of people suggest doing is getting a half size smaller. So I wear size 10 shoes. So I went for a 9.5 in these bad boys. And uh, honestly, they fit pretty well. I also have a wider foot. So uh, my feet were hurting just a little bit, you know, breaking the shoes in and whatnot. But uh, yeah, so I would suggest going a half size smaller. Um, I have many different sources, Omar Isaf, um, Alan Thrall. Many, I've seen that in many different videos that you should go a half size smaller because these aren't shoes that you're going to be wearing, you know, going out to the club, you know what I mean? These are shoes that you're going to be literally using to squat, um, overhead press, uh, definitely, they're Olympic weightlifting shoes, so definitely any like Olympic weightlifting movements, you're going to be using these, that's what they're meant for. Uh, don't deadlift with them, that's just a tip, uh, I've done a lot of research on that also. And uh, it puts you too much in a forward position and actually can render your form and make you more susceptible to injury and just not good form. And it doesn't help you execute the movement better, which is what these are supposed to do. And if you're using them for deadlifts, that's not going to help. I know some people may deadlift with them in sumo, uh, but what I've heard is conventional deadlifts, you don't wear your powerlifting if they have a heel to them. You don't wear your shoes like that. So anyways, that's just a couple things that uh, I noticed while using these shoes. Uh, it's just a quick video today. I'm definitely gonna be uploading more uh, this week. Probably gonna try to come out with two or three videos this week. 
And uh, I know I've said I've been doing it before, but I'm definitely going to be doing the 10,000 calorie challenge. So stay tuned for that. Um, uh, honestly, it was just kind of a video I wanted to make that so that if anybody came across my video and they saw, they'd kind of have a little bit of what an idea of what to uh, expect when getting these shoes. Uh, they're pretty pricey, pretty expensive shoes. So uh, if you have the money, uh, I'm not going to say buy them because it's completely up to you. I think they're definitely worth an investment. Maybe I would suggest waiting until your feet are done growing. I know I have some younger viewers. Uh, <laughs> just wait till your feet are done growing because you're paying a lot of money for these. You don't want to get keep them for a year. You know, I'm planning on keeping these shoes for like four to five years. So uh, yeah, if you're gonna get these, try maybe getting a half size smaller. Um, if you can get a cheaper price than I got them, and yeah. So hopefully the video helped you guys if you guys were planning on getting this. I know there is some people that uh, are planning on getting squat shoes in the near future that I talk to. So I just thought, you know, if I could help out anybody watching this, then why not do it? And uh, yeah, so definitely don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.